Greetings, people. Let's get the show on the road. <sighs> so this is the one by the person who made Tomb Raider 2 Revised. So, I expect promise. Somewhere in the Tibetan foothills. Alright. Well, first thing we gotta test is, uh, do you take damage? Well, there's a little exposure meter, so that's fair enough. Ah, this is the soundtrack that was in Himalayan Mysteries. Also seems like the textures are straight from that, but I, I guess Himalayan Mysteries was essentially uh, redone Tibetan foothills textures. Ooh, shotgun ammo. I like my shotguns. What up, Ryan? Hmm. Maybe I can jump over it from up there, but I can always go around. Is this, uh, I guess that's just a door. And there's the shotgun right behind it. Neat. Now, is there anything else underwater? Well, that was a weird camera. Oh, I got so much stuff caught in my teeth from a snack I just ate. Oh, look, it's some icicles. Oh, jeez. Eh? Also Uzi ammo. Uh -huh. Hey there, Dodo. What's going on? No crouch roll move this time. But that's fair enough. Hey, Yankee. You know what I just did before this stream? I played a game of Overwatch because uh, I was at. Uh, I played. It's been a full week since I played competitive, so it was like you will decay. Your SR will decay in three hours, and I was like, well, I'm probably gonna stream Tomb Raider for three hours, so definitely wanna play one game just so I can postpone that. And guess what happened? First of all, it was Anubis, which was just my luck. Second of all, we had a guy playing Genji who said, I have 12 FPS. And then he left the game when we were on defense. Like, when we were about to defend, he was like, I'll be right back. And then, of course, he didn't come back till after we had gotten rolled on Anubis defense. And then when he came back, he said, it didn't help. And then he left again, and we had to defend Anubis last with 5v6. And we actually did stop a few pushes, but eventually they overran us. And that was the competitive game. a little button up there. But I can't reach it unless I follow the cracks. Oh. Hmm, so I can go that way. I can also go up here. Yeah, really. I mean, a lot of these rooms... I think that they, they bend the rules a little bit for, like, skyboxes and underwater areas. Like, you have to make a separate room to put underwater stuff. But, but yeah, this is one big room, man. That's how this challenge works. I need, I need to... Oh shoot, don't don't get set on fire, Lara. Of course you're not allowed to use the snowmobile because TRLE hasn't really figured out snowmobiles. They do exist, like one of the most famous levels, Sanctuary of Water, Ice, and Fire, has fucking a snowmobile in it that you can drive. But it basically functions exactly like the bike from Tomb Raider 4, so I don't know if that really fully counts. 
Well, hello there. Um, I guess I have to push this. Hey, this is also taken straight from Himalayan Mysteries. I think. Like that little pushable thing. Other secrets? Hmm, it says zero. Don't know if that actually means that there's zero. Okay. Oh, come on. I have a shotgun now. Hey, you can actually see the little Tomb Raider 2 M16 in his hands. Can't you? Is that what I'm looking at? Kind of seems like it. Alright, well, I guess we need to climb back up there. Terrible to reverse. You mean like non existent to reverse? <laughs> well, yeah, you, you can just push it back. But there's actually some TRLEs where there is no reverse on your bike and you can just get stuck in a corner forever. I've seen TRLEs that do that. Tomb Raider Anniversary Retold, which is an old level at this point, um, had something like that. Okay, so where does this take us? Uh huh. Imagine how tedious that would have been if it didn't have the new shimmy animation. Oh, god damn it. How am I doing? Four shots left. So far, this is the most straightforward of the One Room Challenge levels I've done. Even the Tomb Raider 2 one, I got a little lost, although maybe I shouldn't have. Alrighty then. Oh yes, this, is ba this whole level is like a love letter to Himalayan Mysteries, isn't it? I'm sure this builder had permission from the author since they both are quite active on the forums. <sighs> the, the author of Himalayan Mysteries, that is. Ooh, there's a little wheel over there. And we prayer wheels. Still have that exposure meter. Yoink. Oh boy, I don't know if I really have time to get the health pack just yet. Oh, the exposure meter goes up a million times faster than the one in Tomb Raider 3, though. I like that. <coughs> Tomb Raider 3, I hated having to wait forever to get into the water again, even though that's kind of realistic. Hey there, Spooter. Is there a boulder that's going to get me? favorite part of Himalayan Mysteries. And this is still exposure water. You'd think that with the burners there it would be a little bit warmer. More swimmable. But no. That's fair enough, I guess. It's connected to the water outside, so that makes sense. Hey there, Touch Sky. Oh, I hated this part of Himalayan Mysteries. It's such a great level, but anytime a level puts burners like this in, 
not a fan. Because Tomb Raider 4 burners are such garbage to deal with. Which isn't really the fault of the builder so much as the programmers who made Tomb Raider 4, I guess. So far we're doing alright, though. And even if we do catch fire, we can just drop into the water. Still a Tomb Raider 2 remake. It is not. It's uh, made by the same person. Uh, funny you say that, because this was made by the builder who made the Tomb Raider 2 remake. Tomb Raider 95. And basically, it feels a lot like Himalayan Mysteries. It's almost like a, a sneak peek preview of what the Tibetan foothills levels are going to be like. Particularly Monastery. Although I assume that won't be done for a while. Yoink. Alright, that's one prayer wheel. I guess we gotta go get the other one. Oh, shit balls. Got anything for me? No? Fine. Doink. Let's see, is there another lever? Hmm. Oh, there's the lever. The old hidden jump switch. That wasn't too crazily hidden, though. I'm so paranoid about boulders falling on me. Is that shallow water? Looks like it. Um, okay, first thing I have to find out, does this kill me? Okay. Suppose not. like I'm supposed to push something or just climb up here. Uh, okay. Ah, another jump switch. Again, so far this level's been downright relaxing compared to both of the other one room challenges I've played. Alright, here we go. This is also something I remember from Himalayan Mysteries. You could always see inside these blocks when you were pulling them around. That's consistent with my experience. Oh, good grief. Ugh, level's getting laggy again. Whoa. Holy sh I was so paranoid about that exact thing happening. And then when it did happen, I just, like, Mr. Magood threw it. <laughs> wow. I was like, there's gotta be a boulder around here somewhere. Because Monastery had boulders in it. Himalayan Mysteries Monastery had boulders in it. You can't not have a boulder. 
Oh shit, I didn't like properly look for figuring out what was happening. So there's water down there. Okay. That's interesting. <sighs> I can't believe these levels actually get laggy when I stream them. It's depressing about my computer. Oh boy. Really bold. Mm -hmm. And prayer wheel number two. Really? Holy shit! How was he not- I must have missed him with one of my shotgun shots. That was weird. Or whatever. There. They definitely uh, adjusted the enemies to do more damage than normal. Wait, is that guy gonna attack me? Hey, I'm just, I'm just here for the for the sights to see. I don't know. Oh, really? I ran into the table. Oh, he can just go through the door. I see how it is. Hope he doesn't drop anything important. Because I don't want him to die in a place where I can pick up the items. Is this guy fucking invincible? Oh, he's just a boss fight, I guess. Alright, what do we got? Guess I gotta use the monkey bars. What? Okay, that was trippy. Alright, I guess this is the end of the level. I'm guessing anyway. Yoink. What even is this? Mysterious artifact. Hmm. Looks like a pearl. Oh, we're we just gonna. Oh dear. Hurry up, Lara. You're gonna lose your your health. I got plenty of health packs. Well, that was surprisingly straightforward. It looked really great. It's only 17 minutes taken. It took me like two hours to do the T-Dak level. <laughs> Which, by the way, is the person who made, or at least who made the level that these objects came from. Himalayan Mysteries. Alrighty then, now, if anyone knows if Agent XP is online or whatever, uh, she did say she wanted to try to watch me play her level, and her level is the next one on my list to play. I didn't expect that one to be so short. But, uh, yeah, Agent XP, let's fucking go. Gateway to Atlantis. Fishies. All right, hang on a second. I gotta switch out my chair. Okay. 
I don't know. I, I'm st I have a slight feeling this is gonna be <laughs> underwater. Don't please me. Well, maybe this one will be sweet. I don't mind underwater levels inherently. It's just if they're like, I, don't know, I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of nooks and crannies to explore. T Tex level was largely a water level, so let's do this. Oh no! You can do wetsuit or dry suit? Why would you do this with a dry suit? Really? I wonder... Oh, shit! This is a Slink reference. Slink is the company that that has all the bad guys in the Lost Artifact. So this is a direct reference to one of my favorite levels, Sleeping with the Fishies. Oh, God, I already hate this. There's so many places to explore. I don't hate the way it looks. It looks fantastic. But it's an underwater level, all right. Oh, shit! Okay, so this is like that part from Tomb Raider 4. Where there's a, a hammerhead and a, a water pocket and a big area. Wait, do I have a harpoon gun? I sure do! But wait. Oh, I was really hoping I could explode the shit out of that shark. That's a weird sound effect. It's the only one room underwater? I wouldn't say that. Again, the the first one room I did was very water-centric. It was basically just half underwater. This level seems to be fully underwater. Do you need the main games? You do not need anything, Matt. You literally can just plug and play all of these games, as long as your computer can run them. You may have some compatibility issues to go through, but it shouldn't be too hard. Like, I used to play Tomb Raider level editor stuff in high school on fucking these little laptops that they would hand out. Yeah, just follow the Lake Yankee gave. That's where all the levels are. Oh, this is pretty sweet music. Kind of gives me a Minecraft vibe for some reason. to play Tomb Raider. I think even most crap tops could probably run these. You get like a hundred dollar laptop. You could probably also build with that too. There was a cave I was looking at earlier. It's over here. Okay, okay. But let's go straight for that cave this time. Even Tomb Raider 3 doesn't work correctly. Well, that's a shame. Uh huh. Oh, God. How many secrets are there? This one says zero as well. There were lots of secrets in the T Tac level. Okay, so there's a lever there. What happens if I do this? No, that she specifically made it so each. Each uh, surface was unclimbable here. They're at the right angles. Keep you from rage quitting, I know, right? Man, I might have to download more of these after this because if this doesn't take very long. Okay, so I opened that uh, card thing. I mean, not card thing. Uh, 
think that it has a button on it. At least she's pretty generous with the air pockets. The original Sleeping with the Fishes was very stingy about that. Man, this makes me want to play the Lost Artifact now just for fun. Remember when you played Tomb Raider games and it was just kind of fun and you weren't doing it to speedrun? No loads, no meds. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of why I only do TRLEs these days anyway. <sighs> okay. Let's try over here. Oh, a shotgun. Not quite what I expected, but I'll take it. I guess I'm gonna have to fight stuff above the water. I have no idea how to get out of here. <sighs> hmm, there might actually be a bunch of stuff up there I can mess with. Eventually. So I opened a a, uh, a button thing. That's all I've accomplished so far. Wait, is this a separate air pocket? Have I not even seen this one? Hmm. You should use this music while studying. It is quite relaxing, I guess. I'm sure this won't work, but I, I just want to try something. No. Whatever. And I can't even tell where I've been and where I haven't. Okay, so I already kind of explored this area. Went in there. Pulled the lever. shotgun randomly. But I haven't found any little caves in this area, really. I have no idea what this is for. Maybe nothing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh shit, that's not an air pocket. early is this? This is one made by Agent XP, who has a tendency to stream when she's building levels, by the way. You should totally follow her. Oh, that gave me a nice amount of starting flares, too. I like that. I didn't have to go around picking up flares. Under the yellow thing where you found the shotgun. Uh, I guess I can look there. I'm not sure. Yay, I just was going back for air. I saw this lever here. Can I actually use this? It seems like there's something blocking it. Yeah, it looks like I have to get this thing out of the way before I can use this lever, maybe. Or do I? <laughs> Come on. Okay, looks like I do. At the very least, that's what's meant to happen. 
right then. Fine. Someone said something about the place where I found the shotgun maybe having more stuff. That's not here, but I'm just still looking around for caves. Hey there, Mete. found two caves in this area. I'm just gonna go in here again. Just in case I miss something obvious. Because I don't think I can climb out here. Nope. I already pulled that lever. <sighs> I'm not so good at finding where to go in tier at least. Probably should have found it by now, I guess. But I'm not seeing anything. open earlier? Oh, shoot. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No going back now. Oh. Huh. That's really weird, but okay. What do you think is harder? Honestly, they're hard in different ways. I would say Tomb Raider 3 has the most infuriating platforming in the series. Tomb Raider 4 has some rough spots, but overall it's easier. Oh, so you can just transition. That is nuts. Just finished Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Congrats. How'd you like it? To me, it just looks like Farcroft 4 or whatever. It gives me big Far Cry vibes. Vibes. Okay. Um. Beware airlock. Oh dear. Best one of the three new ones? Hmm. Sounds good. You think it's the kind of game that you could play without having played any of the others? I mean, I don't know. I'm reluctant to buy it at full price still, but... I am curious. I mean, what the hell? Hmm. Don't tell me I'm not actually making progress here. I guess I'll have to flood the area again. Oh, that automatically floods, of course. Right. So, what the hell? Are you telling me this isn't actual progress? Can't be serious. I've been looking around so long. I can shoot this or something. Also, nice uh, sound effect. I don't suppose you can shoot it this way. This is a really stupid idea, but I'm gonna try it.
Well, looks like I'm back to the drawing board. Oh wait, no I'm not. Suddenly this game looks like Portal. But I guess Portal looks like a submarine, huh? I've also seen a few parts of it. Ah, oh, this must be a place where you gotta stick an object. Also, there's a button there. Okay, I guess this is climbable. Shimmy that way because TRLE is dumb. Okay. Oh. Oh. That was weird. Anyway, let's see what the button does. Doink. Okay. No idea where that is. Oh. That's here. That crate. Maybe an old friend is paying these guys. What is it? Von Croy? If in doubt, it's probably Von Croy. Laser sight. I can stick that on the harpoon gun. We need more levels with explosive harpoon gun bolts. Okay, I didn't sign up for this laser shit. Okay, I guess we're going down there at some point, but I just want to check out some other places first. This place is huge. Wow. It said Natla. Oh, of course. I thought I saw a Natla somewhere. Oh, I guess I can't go here until I've turned that burner off. So let's see. that there wasn't a trap over there. Okay, cool. So that's that. What's this? That looks like a mug. But I guess it's the thing I need to put in the circuits over there. It's the puzzle item I need. Let's 
What's this? Har harpoons? Is it special harpoons? Nope, it's just normal ones. I need my explosive harpoons, damn it. What if I just go up there and pull the lever and heal through it? Haha! <laughs> -ha. Now I won't burn. Wow. That's the Angel of Darkness death sound. Okay then. Whoa, I didn't see that. And that solves that problem. Ah, uh, why do these levels have to be so laggy when I stream? It's not fair. The computer's such a potato. I don't think it lags this much when I'm playing this off stream. I hope that's not on a timer. Ooh. You know what's also funny? Uh, maybe not. I bet I could make this jump. That would be like the sketchiest jump. It's probably possible. Yeah, it would be hard. I've considered it smooth. I'm not really in the market for carrots right now. Touch sky, I already found the market monkey bars ages ago. It's just I couldn't go here because of the fire. Just saying. Anywho. Uh, uh, let's... Okay, jump switch. <laughs> well, Madigan, did you know that I did a Harpoon Only to Rare 2 run years ago? It's on the YouTube, I think. It was Harpoon Only New Game Plus. How did I manage to fall? I already, like, blanked out what just happened. Oh, I fell because I missed the stupid switch. I don't know why I, like, wasn't even thinking about that. But yes, I did do a harpoon-only run. Unfortunately, it was pervaded by some spammers. But, uh, God, Tibetan Foothills harpoon-only is the worst. Killing those two snowmobile guys with a harpoon gun, not a good time. There is a strat for it, but you basically have to have health packs saved up. And a lot of them. underwater switch outside. Hmm, how to get to it? Yeah, that was just in case I didn't find the switch earlier, but I did. That was the only thing I found earlier. Interesting button press sound.
I've already blanked out where that was. Is this it? big neo vibes but it uh, looks pretty fun they got rid of the stamina system though which is I'm a little tiny bit dubious about hey is this respawning ammo no it's not I just saved and reloaded okay where was that <laughs> that door I don't know I feel really dumb for not figuring out I'm intoxicated by this this level's smoothing music I can't figure out what to do no it's like I just opened something right Oh, wait. Gotta push this thing, right? No. Okay, fine. That looks like something that can be pushed. Looks exactly like something that can be pushed. Maybe I have to shoot something with the harpoon. I mean, I did get a laser sight after all. Highly doubt consoles will run it. Yeah, I'm a little less worried. Like the PS4 Pro might be okay, but I'm not sure about my my default PS4. I'm a little worried that it won't run so good. Be nice if it worked on PS4 though. That would be fantastic. I'd even take 30 FPS, the inferior edition, as long as it actually fucking works. But everyone whined and bitched about Bloodborne's 30 FPS, so I guess they're not going to do that. <sighs> Let's see here. Um, wait, did I move this thing? I can't tell. Hey there, Lee. Nice to see you. I think I might have moved it. Okay, I, I honestly can't tell from this angle. I, like, opened a door, and then I totally didn't even see where it was. Maybe if I push the button again, that'll reveal everything. just that. Hmm. What does that actually do, then? I mean, I saw that I could push and pull the thing. Oh, I need to make this one go down so that I can pull this. That's how it works. But that means I need to find something else. Probably just need to shoot something with the harpoon. I don't think I, I think I already tried shooting that gauge. Ah, oh, I need to shoot that. Duh. Um, so what does that mean? Did it fall down there? Looks like an item. I 
I can't do anything here. I need, like, items or something. Unless... That looks like a pretty important item. But wasn't that already there before? Different Tomb Raider or not? Well, not exactly. Basically, Mentic, the way Tomb Raider level editor works is everything's in the Tomb Raider 4 engine, for the most part. There are exceptions to that, but. Everything's in the Tomb Raider 4 engine, but you can add stuff in that's essentially ported from other Tomb Raiders. Like, this outfit I'm wearing is a Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness style outfit, which was made actually like a decade ago. There's even newer outfits than that, outfits that look like the new Tomb Raiders. There's all kinds of crazy mod shit in the Tomb Raider level editor community, so you can make levels that look like this. But at the end of the day, it's all Tomb Raider 4. <laughs> With some additions. So I shot the box, and I have no idea what it did. It certainly didn't make that go down. It didn't make that go down either. <sighs> hmm. Okay, so it did drop the item. Um, does that mean... Oh, I don't even know. I don't remember what that lever did. Guess I can't pull it again, though. If I had not had this... El if this trapdoor was closed when I shot the thing, maybe it would be more accessible. I, I don't know. Seems like I need to get the items that turn off the lasers down there. I haven't tried pushing this again. Let's see here. Oh! Okay, of course. Now I just gotta go around. I get it now. The dying sound... Yeah. Well, actually, the yellow submarine isn't from Tomb Raider 2, I don't... Well, it kind of is. There was a yellow submarine in Tomb Raider 2. And there are large yellow submarines. Okay, never mind. The more I think about it, Lost Artifact just kind of stole that, that aesthetic from Tomb Raider 2. But I was, this level is a specific reference to the Lost Artifact level, Sleeping with the Fishes. It, which is a, a, an underwater submarine level. Lots of yellow submarines in that one. But you're right, it is essentially, there was also yellow submarine stuff in Tomb Raider 2. Alright, here we go. Do I also have to push this? No, I guess not. Oh right, there's a little thing there. So I finally got the coffee mug. We can get some coffee, wake up eventually. I know just what to do with this. Wait. And then we finally moved that. Very good. spent most of the beginning of the level swimming around out here trying to figure out where the hell to go eh? not 100% sure 
not sure what I'm looking at. Oh, another shark. Noise. Whoa, whoa, you can actually laser sight underwater. That is freaky. Ah. This might not be the best strat for fighting the shark. That is such a weird underwater harpoon sound. It sounds like the pendulums. The pendulum traps from Tomb Raider 4. That's the sound effect. Also, yes, you can laser sight underwater. That is fucking amazing. How many times has that come up in Tomb Raider level editor? Oh, so this is how... Okay, the lasers are still there. Wait a minute. Does that mean this whole place is flooded now? Oh, no, the, the thing's closed. Well, that's not good. It's not good at all. And I went the wrong way. To escape. Blah. Blah. Oh, we have plenty of health. Yes, yes, there was a lever. Or, or something. Yoink. I guess that's gonna turn off the lasers. Yep. Gotcha, bitch! I have no idea what that is. Power plug? This was all to get a power plug? And am I supposed to put it in here or something? That's about. There's any number of places the power plug could go. Power plug. I thought it was like some kind of secret artifact. Some sort of weird, super special artifact, but it's just a goddamn power plug. So then, what do we do with that? It's open now. Wait, no, it's not. It was never a dead end. I'm stupid. This is where we enter the submarine. Okay, so do I use it, like, here? I unflooded this area. Wait, what? Since when did this become unflooded? I am so confused. I 
mean, it looks like you have to insert something in these things. Yeah, there it is. So I have to get another one that I don't even know about? Are you kidding me? I don't know nothing about power plugs. Also, I really don't want to climb this huge ass ladder, so... Bazing! Fight me. Okay, so I found one power plug after all that. And now I have no idea where the other power plug could be. Don't tell me it's lying around somewhere outside and I was supposed to f find it at the beginning of the level or something. Because that wouldn't be too surprising. looks like, I don't know, I can't help but feel like I'm supposed to do something with this shiny thing. Like, get a power plug out of there or something. But I don't know. Game, why are you so laggy? the gosh darn power plug. wonder if it's where those bubbles are coming from. Maybe that's the hint. Probably not, though. It. I made so much progress, but now I need another power plug. A power plug. I need another power puff, girls. <laughs> I also got this shotgun. What's that all about? I haven't seen any enemies so far, other than the, the shark. Which I guess I could have killed from out of the water. Maybe? What if I had... What if the shark swam inside the submarine, and then I... I trapped it inside and it was just flying around. That would be awesome. Maybe there's a way to get out of the water here? If so, it's very counterintuitive. That's a kind of cool statue. Oh, I wonder if there's something I can shoot. Oh, I see. Now, suddenly, the laser sight don't work? What's that all about? Are you telling me you have to be under the water? Wow, that's interesting. Pew! 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 Alright, then. I need a level now that has an explosive harpoon gun. It needs to happen, guys. The best qualities of the harpoon gun and the crossbow combined together as one super weapon. I think it could, Medigan, because I've seen that kind of thing in TRLEs before. Any any object, any enemy that's designed to be underwater can also fly. And I'm pretty sure they can hurt you too. That was actually put to great use in the level uh, Dark City by Lima. There were these spooky ghosts flying around, which were based on the hag from Tomb Raider Chronicles, which is an underwater enemy, but in that game they kind of just converted it to a spooky ghost that flies around in a graveyard. I need to play that one again. That one is awesome. It's been years. Since there's a sequel, I kind of do want to play it again. <sighs> Have you got explosive ammo? No, not in this level at least. I've never seen a level that had explosive harpoons, which is why I'm saying it needs to happen, damn it. Oh, I made all this progress and now I'm back to the drawing board since I didn't find any power plugs. That's damn frustrating. Let's see, have I been in here? Not real sure. 
sure where this is. Oh, I've probably been there. I bet we're like really close to beating the level too. Like as soon as we find this power plug, this power plug, it's over, right? Do you hear swimming sounds? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I think you just kind of, they just kind of fly around. And that's why it worked so well in that spooky ghost level. Damn it. I guess I can look inside the submarine some more, but I feel like we've, we've maxed that area out. We've leveled up fully. <laughs> Probably not. Considering we need a power plug. Can I pull this again? What would happen if I did that? So, this is making that area underwater again. Is this like a temporary thing? I'm not sure why it stopped being underwater. To begin with. And I don't even remember what this did. Oh yeah, it turned the stupid lasers off. Or off. I don't know. Yeah, for some reason when we went back in the submarine, Slightly awkward place to put a save. What if we put it in the other one? Don't think that would work, but let's just do it anyway. Nope, you could, you could do it on either. Either side. God. You're probably right, Touch Sky. That would probably make sense. But how would I go about doing that? In fact, we can see if I can actually see the power plug up above, maybe. Doesn't look like there's a lot of crazy stuff up there. I wonder if there's another high ground where I can uh, shoot a thing besides the main one. I already pulled that lever. Is there something in this corner? Doesn't seem like it. What is down here? Okay, yeah, that's the place where the barrel is. Which I finally got to move. Huh. Doink. Oh yeah, also I might have just crushed the... ...pushable thing. <laughs> uh, not sure what's going on with this now. I need to open this. That's what I need to do. But how? Yes, uh, we're seemingly and nearing the end of this level since I, I got I did all this complicated crap. And I acquired a power plug, and then I plugged it into something. And now I don't know what to do. Didn't I already try shooting this? Let's try shooting it again. It's probably gonna work. Nope. Doesn't do anything. Can I shoot that? What even 
is that? This looks like some shelves. Blah. I have this strong feeling that it just has to do with something outside. And there's like a million places where that could be. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm actually curious now. Since that block was blocking the thing, does that mean that it'll be, like, different when I push this button again? I don't know if that would make any sense, but... It might be worth a try. Yeah, the block actually did not go up. Never mind. Didn't do anything. actually pull that again. Well, it looks like I'm just gonna have to wander around in circles until Agent XP shows up to the stream and tells me what to do. Because I am stumped again. Let me just try one last thing, but I'm, I'm basically open to tips at this point. Okay, well maybe I need to mess around with this button. I didn't try pushing that one again. So that made this block go up? affects the one block, right? I don't even know. Can you at least, just let me know if what I'm looking for is indoors or outdoors. <laughs> is it have? Wait a second. Okay, wait a minute. Never mind. Actually, that's probably not. I thought that was something I could get to, but I guess it's not. Alright, never mind, never mind. No progress. Hey there, Nargax. How you doing? Yeah, I'm open to a, a, a basic tip, I guess. I figure that I need to open one of those things, flood everything, yada yada. Ugh, it's underwater. That was what I was dreading, because if it's underwater outside, it's gonna take me forever to find it. I guess don't tell me where it is yet, but uh, I'll just try to see. I knew it was out here. I was looking out here for so long, but there's so many places it could be. pulling that lever a second time. Maybe there's something I can open, like underwater door type style. I just, I was thinking, my first thought was that, okay, maybe the other power 
cable thingy, whatever it is, power plug, is outside somewhere, just randomly lying around. Oh, there we go. I did not see that at all, even since the beginning of the level. Pew. What? It's fucking harpoons. God damn you. The other one was even in a box just like that. Agent, you're trolling me. Why does Lara need so many harpoons anyway? I guess she really didn't want anyone to complain about. I ran out of harpoons and couldn't finish the level. Hmm. Well, maybe there's another box just like that one. But, like, I didn't even see that one at all. Even though it wasn't exactly, like, camouflaged. Wait, can I shoot this thing? Nope. I'm assuming no. Wait, does this thing open? No. I wonder if I can break various coral. To actually find it. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Shoot everything is a pretty good strat for some deer. starfish, you know? That starfish is literally as big as Lara. I know there's some big starfish out there, but... Are there starfish that big? Because I wouldn't even be surprised if there were. There's some freaky shit under the ocean. I know there's giant jellyfish that are horrifyingly large. Tomb Raider. Which Tomb Raider? You mean Tomb Raider 4? Or... This ain't exactly no Tomb Raider 4, but it is the engine of Tomb Raider 4. <sighs> There's gotta be like a lever or something that I missed at the beginning level. <laughs> yeah, use the fish as the key. Get a walkthrough? I don't think a walkthrough actually exists for this level yet in Argax. It's too new. There are no walkthroughs. But we do have a viewer who's played the level, so if, if in doubt, I can get an answer from him, probably. See, this looks like something you could break, but I guess not.
Well, uh, Rave Cats, this is the room I started in, because this whole level is all just one big room. Since that's the, the name of the challenge. Basically, so... I, I don't even know at this point. How old is this custom level? Literally released like a week ago. Less than a week ago, I think. It, it released with a bunch of other One Room Challenge levels, two of which I played uh, a couple days ago on stream. Those playthroughs are currently on my YouTube. I think the Tomb Raider 2 one's still my favorite, but I do like the, the one I played just previous to this for being nice and straightforward. Unlike some levels! Okay. Light. Shoot the everything. Maybe it has something to do with. Oh, I don't even know. The music sure is nice. Have I even been up here yet? Okay, yeah, this is like the main area. Again, I haven't tried pulling that lever a second time. Okay, Papa, Ish Papa Pichu, I might be ready to give up. Sadly, it has aged badly. What are you talking about? Don't say that on Twitch. People will crucify you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A lot of people really love Tomb Raider 2. I wouldn't say it's aged badly. I, okay, the graphics have aged kind of badly because it was originally made to have good graphics, I guess, but, like, and the level design makes, like, no sense in some ways, but I still think it's a great game. I wouldn't necessarily say it's aged badly. There's so many games that have aged so much worse, and I'm joking about the crucifix thing. It's just if you ask any given Tomb Raider fan what their favorite Tomb Raider is, I think the majority of them at this point will say Tomb Raider 2. <laughs> yeah, so don't don't talk trash about Tomb Raider 2, unless you're. I mean, it's perfectly fine to hate Tomb Raider 2. I mean, Bagel 411, he's one of my favorite streamers, but he he hates him that Tomb Raider 2. That's a very random person to reference, but, uh, anyway, um, let's figure out... Ugh, I've already pulled that lever, like, a million times. Blech. Papa Bishu, save me from this level. I know I should just, like, stick it out, Cugnus style, but I feel like I've done all I can here. There's something outside here that is completely eluding me. And I've literally been exploring this beginning area since I started playing this level, like, an hour ago. In an alcove somewhere underwater? Well, shit balls. Wait, did I even... I don't think I've ever even been here. What is this place? I have not seen... God damn it! How did I end up here? I was just, like, wandering around, then I was like, oh, this doesn't look familiar. What the hell? That wasn't even that, like, hidden. I just never found it, even though I swam in seemingly every possible direction. Wow. So typical. I was like, I can't believe I literally swam right into it while you were giving the hints. I was like, help, help. Oh, there it is. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, that is reminiscent of Lost Artifact. Lost Artifact. I was totally stuck in that level for a long time as a child because of the location of one of the uh, items it was a little... it eluded me for a while. Don't, don't accidentally press that. Okay, now we gotta climb down again. Side. 
goddamn power plug, man. I do kind of feel bad for streaming this in its entirety without Agent XP watching. She said she wanted to see me play it, but she can watch on YouTube. Okay then. So now that thing's open. And I gotta climb out of here. Or do I? Just pretend I climbed that, okay? Um, let's see. This is it, right? Yeah. Oh. Hello there? What? This area looks sweet. This is all still the same room, too. Oh, wow, and there's just a, a sword there. What the fuck? Oh, shit. It's Shodan. From, from, by, from, what's it called? System Shock. Don't think I can shoot her. We'll have to find another way. Okay, well, thanks for telling me, at least. Otherwise, I would have tried to shoot her. Um, is she going to try to shoot me? Well then, we got ourselves a little underwater boss fight, I guess. With some electricity that's, I guess, not going to shoot absolutely everywhere. Uh, do I have to swim under so that the, the sword falls on her? I guess I have to do some fancy shenanigans to make the sword fall. It's very nice of that sword to just be hovering there. Right above the boss I need to kill. Also, when am I going to use this shotgun? Am I out of health? No. Got plenty. Hello? Oh shit! Startled the shit out of me. What the fuck? Okay, well, if this is like Tomb Raider 4, he's invincible. But maybe he's not. I don't know. Whoa! Now we have this whole big area. I was not expecting this. I legitimately thought the level was just going to end once I found the power plug. This is... Oh, and he's stuck. Good job, boy. Um... By the way, that's the sound that the underwater... I can't believe she actually has this pendulum in the level when that's the sound that the uh, harpoon gun made unnaturally. Um... What's this all about? Poseidon's just chilling here. Hmm. I guess I gotta jump from this slope, maybe? Maybe I do actually need to kill this guy. I mean, he bleeds. He has blood come off of him when you shoot him. Unlike the Tomb Raider 4 guy. I, or did the Tomb Raider 4 guy bleed? I don't remember. Oh, wow, he actually dies. Okay, then, that's that. What happens now? So that's what the shotgun's for. Neato. Um. Hmm. Just gotta figure out some platforming shenanigans here. Or maybe I can shoot something at the ceiling?
Hey, I didn't cheese nothing. It cheesed itself, okay? It willingly submitted to the cheese. I'm absolved of any cheese. So how do I get up there? Without glitches, of course. I know a very easy way I could get up there. Hmm. Oh, wait, I didn't see this. Huh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I bet I could heal through that shit if I had enough health packs. <laughs> Maybe I couldn't. Because you, when you fall on the spikes, it, it kills you basically instantly, I guess. <gasps> nope, it's not like two or four spikes. You, you can't just fall on them. Okay, so this block obviously is going to raise when I do something. Push this thing? Do I shoot this thing? Don't tell me the bull guy dropped something inside that base. That would be awkward as fuck. Guess we could look outside again. Oh, look. Don't mind if I. Oh, it's another laser sight, I see. Just in case you missed the other one, I guess? Wait a minute. Okay, I guess that's not it. That really looks like something you can interact with. Maybe if I flood this place. Wow, so there's this whole other section to the level. That's pretty impressive, actually. Now, what actually is that over there? Okay. Oh, there's also one over there. There's two. in the wrong direction. Again, obviously have to raise this block and that's what's going to grant me access to that. What's going on, Bromsy? Broms. Don't remember this level. You don't! Well, I mean, of course, this is the... the, the um... Uh, at Lost Alexandria level. It looks just like that, right? Hmm, so we blew up the goat guy. Oh wait, maybe we gotta shoot something from here? Hmm. It's a fishy up there. I don't think there's anything I can do with this guy at the moment. I tried pushing this whole thing, which would be completely comical. Tons of spear in the statue. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe there's something else underwater outside that I need to acquire. I feel like there's got to be something I have to do with the lasers, because she gave me another one. After all, like when you when you receive a laser like that, the assumption is that you're going to need to use the laser. Wait a minute, what's up there? Is there anything up there? Kind of looks like it's just a block that exists. Is that the sound of the spooky Medusa thing? Hey, what's going on? Um, is this where I came from? 
Oh wait, no, yeah, this is where I came from. So then... I'm not sure what that is. Drop the sword if he slams it? I don't know. I guess I could try, like, baiting it to shooting the sword. I have a strong feeling that I have to do something else to make the sword fall, though. And there I go. So I, I guess it can't make the sword fall. So it's basically an underwater version of the, the weird Roman head thing from Tomb Raider Chronicles shoots lasers at you. That goat thing that you killed? You mean I had to lure him out here without killing him? That don't make no sense because he wasn't invincible. Or at least it, it shouldn't be that way. Hmm. Hey there, Agent. I got super stuck for a while in this level, but then I finally I finally found the second stupid power plug thing, and now I'm in this area trying to figure out what to do after I blew up the, the goat guy. You missed a camera hint because you had your guns drawn? Ah, well, shit. Maybe I can replay the area then. Oh, wow. I saved a mu bunch of times since killing the goat guy, apparently. And I saw that there was a laser sight there, which heavily indicates that I'm going to need that laser sight. But... Yeah, isn't, aren't there ways of making a camera where you can have your guns drawn and it doesn't, doesn't affect it? I'm pretty sure that there are cameras like that. At least I would have thought, whoa. That's the camera, then. Oh, I know what to do. I, I totally... Th Why didn't I do that? I fucking... I totally thought, okay, maybe I can shoot that big ball up there, but for some reason, didn't even try it, because it just didn't seem like the kind of thing that would shatter. But now I understand what's happening. It's not going to shatter. It's going to fall, just like the thing in Tomb Raider 4. It's supposed to work with guns. I feel like I've definitely seen levels where... I, like, couldn't do anything about the camera even when I had my guns drawn. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't expect it quite to go that way. This was all part of Agent's plan. Wow. So you shoot the vase it's sitting on. I thought it was going to be like Tomb Raider 4 where you shoot the ball and it falls down. That part in uh, the, the, the great hospital hall. Alright, cool. It's coming right for us! And that got rid of the spikes, I guess. I guess it just broke them. Alright, progress with a little input from the author. But it is weird that... Wait a minute. All this was to... Okay, hang on. Let's see here. That's, um... A Roman gladius? I guess? Or something? A sword. Yeah, okay, sure. Do I put it in this? It doesn't seem like a, a place where a sword would go. Well... 
So let me guess, you just found this ancient priceless sword and you're gonna use it as a goddamn crowbar because you're a savage, Laura. Um, let's see. So like, I noticed that thing up there a while ago. I tried to shoot it, but it wasn't to be. Um, hmm. I don't suppose getting that sword just magically made the sword fall or anything. Surely I would know if it did. Oh, hi. Well, this is kind of awkward. Alright, Ryan. I'll catch you later. Plug the tiny in the big one. That's what FF told me. <laughs> Tell me I can, I can stick the small sword into the big sword here. That would certainly be intriguing. Do I dodge the laser beam? lightning, whatever it is. Oh, you can just swim right through it. Alright, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure something out here. Can't be too crazy. Can't combine it with anything. I don't suppose I have to backtrack through the level to do something with this sword, how do I? Because that would be a heck of a note. Oh! Buddy, do something with this? Uh huh! Yoink! The water jet could help me to jump higher! Are you kidding me, Lara? Haven't you ever been to a water park? That's not how it works. Please. Maybe if your skin is made of sandpaper. Why, why, why sandpaper? Oh my god! Wasn't quite ready for that shit. Tomb Raider. Speaking of Tomb Raider 2, the best mechanic from Tomb Raider 2, as we all know, was uh, the jump pads. So does this only work when I'm jumping straight up? Oh, that is really cool, actually. Right. Yeah, okay, here we go. Whee! Okay, wait. Ah. Huzzah! My main criticism of this level is rooted in the sound design. I do think it's kind of funny that the underwater harpoons... I guess this isn't a real criticism. Oh, oh come on! Uh, the underwater harpoons sound just like the pendulum. That alone stops this level from being 10 out of 10. <laughs> but I'm fine. The sound design is pretty great overall. Okay. Let's do this and not get, not get Tomb Raider 4 hitboxed. What am I doing? I'm jumping literally right into it. Thought it was a good sound? It's okay. I don't know. I find it a little distracting. Wait, what? What is this nonsense? Okay, I guess I gotta... I guess I gotta use a crowbar on this. Or maybe a sword? Okay, and there's my raisable object thingy. Oh, 
Oh, there's also there's a few slight pitch pitch issues with Lara's sounds, but that's pretty widespread in TRLEs. Also, for some reason, it took me an absolutely ludicrous amount of time to find the first, uh, the first, uh, power cable thing, power plug. Like, I was literally asking a guy to tell me where it was right as I accidentally swam right into it. I spent so long swimming around, it did nothing. At least we can't swim right through the statue. Let's see here. Oh, we gotta go up here now. Or not. I guess we gotta go back outside, maybe? Can't climb onto that. We're gonna get lasered from all the way down there. Hmm. Oh yeah, we gotta do this now. Yoink. Woo. Woo. Okay then. That's that. just what to do with that thing. Wow, it looks like uh, one of those meme faces. It looks like Mi Gusta. The Mi Gusta coin. Oh, I'm probably gonna drown now. Oh, look, it's the Stargate. I guess I'm going in. I mean, I've come this far. There's no turning back now. This is like the end of Tales from the Borderlands. All right, well, I guess we went to Atlantis. Whoa, one, one. One, I will never top that achievement. I completed this level in one, 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 one. What? Nobody else can top that score. Also, now I just want to see what the dry suit looks like. Oh, it's actually the, uh, the Tomb Raider 3 style, or Lost Artifact style one that actually looks like what this level is kind of vaguely based on. Alrighty then, we did that. Finished that level.